Hey guys, welcome back for more Mr. Pandaria beta content. This is Regan here bringing you, bringing you, what's this place called? Siege of New Sao Temple, I believe it's called. <laughs> Don't tell, take that my way of saying that correct because I probably butchered that. Anyways, this is, for everyone who's quested Mr. Pandaria, this is the bug people. Uh, and they got a bit of... For everyone who's done Uldar might recognize this. They create a shield which reduces their damage taken by freaking 90% and most of the trash actually can't do this in this first boss area. You start kind of inside this tree area so you just have to fight your way around and kill a boss in here as well. So yeah, it's pretty simple, just interrupt those shields if you can. Yeah, it's the small guys who does it, and then you get these. These are pretty simple, just AOE them down. And I believe they spawn some void zones when they die, but I'm not sure. Well, a couple of them do. And here I was debating whether to do more trash or go for a boss. I just went for the boss. Hold on one minute. Here we go. So yeah, I'm just checking up what the boss does, he, let's see, what's this boss called, I can't actually see it on the video, so I got wow head up in the background, this is Vizier Jimbag, Vizier is Jimbag, Jimbag, as I like to call him, I'll already, so yeah, this boss is kind of interesting, you see the pool in the middle, it will pretty much keep growing, but if you walk through it, or stand in it, it will be, become smaller and smaller. And that's actually has some pretty significance for it. Then he spawns these ads here, it's like three ads around the room, kinda like Yorsha in Dragon Soul. They barely have any HP though, so just you can even have a tank just kill him quickly. Like I was doing right there. And then he does this. He pretty much makes the pool in the middle explode like that, so you wanna make sure it stays small so that it doesn't do much damage. Other than that, that's pretty much all it does. It uh, hits for about 22 to 45k on a tank, not really that bad. Just run through the middle every now and then. Healers, make sure you keep those people alive and kill the blobs and then you pretty much gotta kill. Look at that. One hit from my venture shield brings that thing down to 45%. I put my hammer out for the other two. Yeah, that's how we roll. That's the paladin's roll. I don't think that actually does any damage because I don't see anyone going down from that explosion thing unless people run through it to get instantly down. I believe we got some paladin loot for my tank in here. That loot! That loot! That loot! See, and now we're gonna move on. And I just noticed I sped up the video at the wrong point, but oh well. Yeah, so we got more. The rest of the trash in here is pretty much the same as the first couple of packs. Alternating between. <sighs> Stop yawning. Yeah, alternating between these blobs here and the other, the bug mobs. I just gonna call them bug mobs because I'm not even gonna try to pronounce the race name. And the speed up should start about now. So now it should go a bit quicker. Yeah, this is probably the longest bit of trash. By looking at the video. It's up. For those of you who don't know how I'm doing my post commentary, I'm actually watching. I'm playing this over in Sony Vegas. Well, I do the commentary, so I got this little preview window and the project in front of me, so I can keep an eye on that. That way, I can see if not if anything went wrong in the recording as well, or not in the recording, but in the editing. It's better to just. And red and edit it, then render it, 
and then re-render it after commentary because that's just gonna fuck up the quality. He is, these are guys that spawn the shields again, just focus the small ones down, they die extremely quickly. Uh, interrupters, make sure you interrupt the shield cast. That saves you just saves you from annoyance. Then here you go up. I just kept alternating just, you know, because but it didn't really do any damage that those jet streams. I think this is the last pack before we get a tree. But I'm not sure. It looks like it's light up there, so uh, let's have a look. Nope, one more pack, of course. Maybe two more. I'm not sure. I can't remember. This is like a couple of days ago, so. Having the memory of a goldfish when it comes to certain stuff. Yeah, see, the trash is going down pretty quickly, mostly because it's speeded up, but we also had some good DPS in this group. Hammer! I love that hammer, man. I'm probably gonna spec for that on live, but it depends if it if it gets buffed or nerfed or what they're gonna do with the other 90 abilities. Holy Prism is actually not very useful, maybe from a leveling standpoint and a PvP standpoint, but not from anything else. So yeah, we're out of the tree finally, and we get to this little staircase here. Here we'll have kind of like a gauntlet thing before the boss. It's kind of like extra trash. Quite fun one actually. Well, not all fun, but you'll see the fun part pretty soon. Yeah, what you can do actually on this, you can go up to the top of the stairs, pick up one of those big fruit things, and throw it down and actually slow all the enemies while you range beat the crap out of them if you want. I didn't actually know know about this, neither of us did, so we didn't even use that at all. You can see the yellow thing sparkling in the bottom left corner of the screen. How did I not notice that? I mean, come on. But yeah, we just did it the old fashioned way, just AOE everything down. Because you know, why not? Stuff died pretty quick anyway. And you will have the NPCs throwing stuff down so you can position the mobs in it if you want to make them take more damage but as a tank I didn't want to risk it in case it did a lot of damage and here you get something fun these guys you can blow up just by one hit chain reaction explosions yeah that's fun of course it knocks the crap out of all the other mobs here so it helps a lot when you want to kill them quick Probably gonna be a good tactic for speedrun, just charge down and blow them all up. And then just AoE the rest if your healers can handle it. I'm looking forward to the speedruns, the challenge modes. That's gonna be extremely fun. Definitely gonna need some improvement on the speedrunning parts though, because I believe this heroic took me about 30 minutes and the gold medal is 15 minutes, so I have to find a way to cut the time in half. But yeah. I'll see when I hit live when I get a full guild group as well, so. Yeah, so I believe we got, we're got about to do the boss here. Oh, you probably want to. When this hit live, you probably want to have only one person do the pull because he won't actually do anything until he reaches the top of the stairs. Have other people go up in the top and take, pick up one of those bombs because those bombs when you throw them they spawn a zo void zone thing on the ground and it slows all of the everyone who walks up in their path down so you can use it on this guy to get some extra DPS time on it while he's walking up. To be honest Unless it re really buff this guy, I don't really see a point of it. But I can see it useful in ways. But you see, we're even kicking the crap out of what was going up. I had the advantage of having my oh, three times holy power speed boost, though. That's like forty percent increased movement speed or something. Probably wrong about that. 
So yeah, once he gets to the top, he's gonna start whirlwinding and attacking the tank. It's pretty simple, just move away when he does the whirlwind. Hammer! I love that hammer. I'm trying to remember if he did anything else. Oh, what the fuck is that? Yeah, it's pretty simple. Let me kill him quite quick, so... It's still quite a fun... Fun idea, though, that he walks all the way up after his troops. You have to stop him from reaching the top and killing all the others. He dropped a hell of a lot of loot. I think I actually dropped something for me. But I'm not sure. This was a good instance for me. I think I got like three pieces of loot or something. Yeah, here you see I pick notice the fruit and pick one pick one up. Try bring it with me, then I throw it to see what it does, and holy motherfucking crap. And then I stand in it and I notice I take damage. And it's a slowing effect as well. So yeah, it's quite interesting. So yeah, we're about to start with the next bit of trash before the next boss. I thought there was only three bosses in here, but I noticed there was four when I got to later on in this instance after this trash. I thought it was just like a trolling elite, like some not a boss, but you know, one of those special key mobs you have to kill certain times and raids and stuff to unlock something, but I was wrong, it was a boss. You'll see when we get there. Yeah, this is another long trash segment. There's really long trash segments in this. So. I can see a rogue's mass stealth be useful in this. If that even works in instances like this, I don't know. I don't know how efficient the rogue's mass stealth is. I have to ask Seeker about that. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, Seeker is my guild rogue. I haven't played my own rogue since early Cataclysms. I kinda got bored of him because. Star Cataclysm assassination was pretty much the only way to go, and I hate that spec. I always loved combat, but unless you were raiding rogue, you were pretty much screwed for combat. So here we go, I, tr I notice the path is cleared, and then I see the big guy. Yeah, that's the boss. So I start clearing more trash. Yeah, you really want to clear these three packs of trash here. And the reason for that, you'll see when when we are on the boss. It does a couple of things that makes you not want anything close, any mobs close. Though it doesn't really matter, I think, because you can easily AOE down while doing the boss. Is that purple AOE thing? Is that a new Nova thing I've heard from priests? So it does look pretty awesome. I do like a lot of new abilities, there's a lot of like cool new stuff. Much more impressive than anything we get in Cataclysm, although Guardian of Ancient Kings is still my favorite of the new things in Cataclysm. I really like it. Paladins didn't really get anything new, interesting stuff in Cataclysm. Which is kinda sad, but we got a few new cool things in Mr. Pinaria. For once, Paladins got some love. Holy crap. I think this is the last ones here. Yeah, it's the last ones. So now we're ready to pull the boss. Right. 
So, sacred shield myself, and pull with my adventure shield. I love the new animation for adventure shield as well. It actually comes back to you now, which makes more sense to me far. Right, you throw your shield away, and then still you have it have it in your hand, so. Yeah, this guy, he does a few st things, he... <sighs> what the hell is wrong with me? It's the middle of the day, for God's sakes. Yeah, but he throws his sword at random people, and then charges onto the sword, hitting everyone in his path for 100k or so. And when he reaches 66 and 33%, he does this. He spawns, he puts a shield up on himself, spawns a lot of adds, and makes certain bombers appear to and uh, drop bombs on the floor. It's pretty simple, just avoid that. And then he got this AOE thing he does. I believe it's, um, it's a magic debuff put on everyone, and it increases at the uh, decreases your haste by like a lot I believe it does but I'm not exactly sure there you go second second shield phase it's a pretty easy boss but it's still quite funny mechanics though I really like this this new level 90 only instances they're quite fun especially the other one the gate of the setting sun that's the most fun one <laughs> you'll be seeing that pretty soon if I get lucky I might be able to get both this and gate of the setting sun out on tomorrow tonight but if not I'll just upload gate of the setting sun the day after because I only got this one and that one left to upload, so hopefully I get him up soon. Then I don't have to do anything until the heroics are available on beta. Or, well, raids, I mean. Uh, spirit trinket. Crap, crap, crap. It's a tank loot, damn it. Alright, so. Last bit of trash, and I really don't like this trash. I think the last part is probably the most annoying part of the whole instance. Even though it's so short, it's still quite annoying. Yeah, so this guy is the only one who will move, and the other ones will stand there throwing knives. It's all they will do. And there's a bunch of these little, little knife throwers around this area, of course. This will take a while. Yeah, so I just decided to check up on the boss while I was doing this because this was boring the hell out of me. It's even this. Oh, that's how everything gets pulled. The freaking Shadow Priest is pulling everything. God, that's gonna be annoying. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, I raid with the Shadow Priest, so... And he's probably gonna annoy the ha heck out of us with that spell if he uses it. He already does with freaking Leap of Faith! Yeah, the healer is actually getting pretty beat up himself. If you, I don't know if you can actually see it, but on the party frames, on all the way at the top, that's the healer, and he's pretty much out of mana at this point. But yeah, we'll just wait for him to get some mana and then keep pulling. Uh, 
And finally the last trash pack. At least they're all grouped together. Should be able to start the boss here pretty soon. This boss is actually I recommend having speed up effects on. You'll see why in a minute. Yeah, here we go. We're at the last boss, uh, wing wing leader Neronok. Neronok. Yeah, here we pull. He's pretty much mostly a tank and spank. Not really much to it. He does have a couple of abilities. Should show up here pretty soon. Anytime now. There he goes. He flies up like this, goes to the other side of the bridge, and then he spawns this fr these freaking winds. If you have a speed up effect, you can easily move against the wind. But if you don't, you want to use the the barricades as a cover so it doesn't push you too far back. And when you get to him, you can interrupt him. Uh, which I believe I do in a minute here. Look at me going against the wind. And then interrupt. Yep. So yeah, that's pretty much what you have to do. That's pretty much the whole fight. He will do that like twice before you kill him. I don't know if it's percent based or what. But yeah, and here you go. You get a debuff. He puts on you and you wanna jump to get rid of it. Yeah. You actually have to jump, it's not one of those you just move around and you get rid of it, you actually have to jump. This is where I got a bit screwed because I didn't have a speed up effect this time. Yeah, I had the word of glory speed buff before but now I didn't have anything, so... So yeah, I got pushed into the walls. Say. So, hey. This is pretty much showing how you're supposed to do it. Yeah, that should be it about here. He's about to go down, so I'm gonna say goodbye. This was Reagan, and this was... Uh, this was... Siege of New South Temple. Thank you all for watching, and goodbye. See you all in the next one.